Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy Bernice and this is the channel where you make money out from your passion and create the life that you really love. Today, we're going to have a new segment in this channel, which is called the Creative Business Secrets, where we are going to talk about one specific artisan and have a closer look on his creative business and how he or she is continuing to have a means of creating money out from his or her passion and creating a life that he really loves. That is so long. I did not have a script for that. I'm so proud of myself. So today we are going to talk about my idol, Jessica Hish. We are going to have a closer look on her business and how she is actually creating the life that she really loves. So stay tuned. <music> So I actually met Jessica Hish in Skillshare. I took a lot of her classes. I think I took all of her classes actually. And it was very rewarding for me to know that is, there is actually somebody out there who is specifically a woman, a mother of three, two toddlers, one coming on the way, a very successful letterer and claims herself to be a procrasty worker. I cannot even pronounce that right. She says procrasty worker, wherein she is like an advocate of the, the work that you are actually doing or trying to procrastinate at is maybe something that you need to do for the rest of your life because that is a way of you getting out of your comfort zone and becoming even more successful. So that is what she is an advocate of. So I am very impressed with the complete decision discipline she has in her work. So I'll be flashing a couple of her works here and there and it's crazy how if you look into her work you would think that that is actually typewritten or it's something that is computer generated or is actually a pre-made font or it's something that you just type in over but really she does that by hand. She has so much discipline on the Bezier handle it was just something that I can claim for myself that is quite a bit of a learning curve, but she had it all mastered. And it's crazy when you look at her work, you'd be like, what? She did that? It looks like it's pre-made. It looks like it has not been done by hand. I feel like she is a perfectionist person and that is one of the reasons why she is always aiming for excellence in her work. So we are now going to dive in on her creative business and she has two parts of it, the active and the passive income. Now, just for the difference, we're going to have active income as something that you are working on real time, something that takes a lot of time on, something that you are going to exchange with money, okay? And for passive income, it is something that you could do just for once and then try to multiply and repurpose that same kind of product. So you're just going to make one product and kind of like multiply the sales. Say for example, e-commerce sales, digital products, and everything that you can sell online to somehow multiply yourself and and save time instead of exchanging time for money okay so I hope I have made that clear okay passive income I don't think that necessarily mean that you're not going to do work or you're just completely making money while you sleep because technically there's a lot of things in passive income that you also need to do in order to make it up and running right so for Jessica's active income she actually does local refreshes okay that's how she addresses it but I think this is like a lot of repairing and logo types so she is a type typography master hands down she's really good at it she has done a lot of logo refreshes and one thing that I'm very impressed of is Jenny's logo Jenny's ice cream so she did that she refreshed the logo because one of the reason why Jenny's ice cream sales was flopping is because the logo in itself looks like the P word okay I'm not even going to say what that is but you probably can see when you are looking at the old logo and she refreshed it she made it a better logo and now it looks amazing and now there's not any more discrepancies towards Jenny's ice cream logos and there's also a lot of things that she has done like the eating well she also did one for MailChimp so 
she does this all the time. So she is also teaching the same skill on Skillshare wherein you could look into a logo and dive into it deeper and see what it is exactly in the logo that doesn't look good or you could refresh to make it look more legible, to make it look more readable and not to have discrepancies as to what letter that is in the logo. So she did a lot actually. She did one for Southern Living, for Jenny's, for Eating well for MailChimp for retail me not and I could go on and on of the list of the things that she has done but we're not going to have much time of course she also does typography and lettering so she did a lot for penguin books and that was the reason why the drop cap lettering challenge has taken over the whole internet so those are one of the things that she did she's really good at it like I cannot even tell you exactly how good she is but just looking into her work, you could really see the dedication and the passion that she has for her work. So another active income she has is a speaking engagements, okay? So I'm not pretty sure what exactly are the topics that she has been, you know, sharing to the world or to the stages, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with art. She has been invited in a couple, one of which is american craft council and many many more so those are the three things that she has her active income on first one is a logo refreshes of course she does logos too and typography and lettering some book covers so she is actually still rendering services to other people because she likes what she does and also her speaking engagements wherein she gets invited to speak about a certain topic so on and so forth so that is i think her three active incomes now let's go to her passive income the first one that i really think is very obvious is that she created two books already so far as of 2019 she created two books the first one is in progress which is all about lettering and the second one is entitled brain which is inspired by her little kiddo and it is actually a children's book so she did all the illustration and the lettering and that type of book and then she published it voila she's an author so apart from that I have mentioned earlier that she has been teaching on Skillshare I'm not actually sure if she actually is getting a lot of income on that because I have also wanted to become a Skillshare teacher but I don't think you could really get a lot of money into it but regardless I think she is getting a little bit of commission or sales on the views that she is getting on Skillshare. So aside from that, she also has a store. Okay, so these stores are actually things that she created through a letterpress or things that she illustrated and made it into a physical product like pins and posters and uh, all those kinds of things. She also is selling fonts. So another way we could make a passive income as a letterer or as a graphic designer is of course you make font and those are her three passive incomes now if you come to think about it her business model is very easy and very simple she is already a mother of three I'm not sure if she is actually pregnant but I think I saw one of her pictures where she has a baby bump so I'm guessing that she is pregnant so if you imagine you're already a letterer, you have passive income, you could also render services, and yet you're a mother of three. Like imagine how you are really creating the life that you really love by doing what you do. And I think that these streams of income has just come out from itself because she really loves what she does. When you are actually in love with what you are doing, you could actually branch out little by little on things that you could imagine yourself doing. You could letter a children's book if you like, right? You could make a font if you like. You could even create a shop if you like. So it really just branches out on the things that you would like to do. And you don't want to make money if you don't like what you are doing, right? So if you have questions and clarifications, let me know in the comment section and I make sure to answer those ones, all right? So I do not have all the information of Jessica Hish because I'm only like doing a little bit of research here in research research here and there on her websites and her Instagram accounts. So I'll share you what I know and hopefully I could answer your questions and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.